What's up guys, welcome to your 70th Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis. And I don't know how many tutorials this is going to take, but this is the desired result that we're going to get. Um, basically I'm clicking or touching the screen and dragging and this ball is going wherever I'm dragging. So if you guys don't really care about how to do that, that's fine. Um, but we, in this tutorial we're going to actually learn about the infrastructure infrastructure of the thread and kind of make it more complete for the most part so what I want you guys to do is open up the my bring back surface here and uh, we're gonna kinda set up some different methods that our thread can use and um, let's let's just get going here um, we have a run method which is gonna be called when we start a thread but let's say we also want to have like a pause like because we don't want a thread running all the time so we're going to have a way for it to pause and we're also going to have a way for it to resume. So we're just going to create those two classes real quickly. Um, so we just do again just public void uh, pause and then um, we also do public void resume pretty standard here but now what we can do is let's go into our our graphics or our GFX surface and now what we can do is we're gonna add you know the pause and resume from the activity class again by overriding uh, within here so we're just gonna say on pause on pause and we're gonna say on resume so now what we can do is we can also say since we established kind of our our class which is our thread my bring back surface we can say our surface um, view dot and we now have these methods that we can use um, such as pause and uh, and resume that we just set up now these aren't like standard methods these are the ones we just set up they don't mean anything right now but uh, we're going to kind of establish um, what they mean here in a bit, but uh, we're just setting up our thread so it will, you know, resume and pause and all that good stuff. So again, our surface view dot resume, and there we go. Uh, we kind of have that set up. Now let's kind of establish what we want these these pause and resume methods to do. Okay, so now let's think about how we can do that. Obviously we have this variable called is running, it's gonna be true or false, and while that's running it's gonna be, you know, creating our canvas, locking it, drawing to it, and then unlocking and showing. So what we can do is we can change this variable within our on pause method. So all we're gonna do is say is running is equal to uh, false now. So if this pause method gets called is running is going to change to be false and then if resumed again we're just going to say is running is equal to true and that's kind of the basic establishment but now let's also go a little bit further because now every time uh, this application reruns or this the only time it's, this thread is actually going to start is when this constructor is called so you know that's going to be the only case that happens. But what we're going to do is we're just going to cu cut this and uh, we're going to paste it within our resume. Because again, anytime the on create or the, you know, um, over here in our graphics class, it's going to. So basically, when, uh, you know, this activity starts, it's going to do the on create and it's going to build our holder within our constructor and not start a thread yet until it goes to the on resume. That's what the on resume is going to do for us. So there we go um, basically everything is set up for the most part to have a little bit better infrastructure for a thread um, now the only other thing we want our on pause to do is basically we're gonna destroy we're gonna destroy our thread um, we're gonna have it stop running and because again when our on resume happens it's gonna create a new thread for us so um, within this on pause we're just going to kind of destroy the currently running thread and what we're going to do is we're going to say 
um, we're gonna create a while loop and we're just gonna say true so it's this is definitely gonna be true and what we need to do is we need to set up our thread which is called our thread and we're gonna use a method called join now basically what join does is it blocks the current thread until the receiver finishes its execution and dies um, as you can see over here in the description so basically it's gonna kind of you know go through this while loop until our thread is is joined or until it dies for the most part then we're gonna hit break um, because then we're done and now all we have to do is add a uh, catch surround with a try and catch um, sorry I forgot to do that so we're gonna try to let our thread join and then uh, we're gonna catch the exceptions so you know nothing too nothing too uh, critical there then all we have to do is basically uh, set our thread equal to null within the pause after it's done and after it's joined and everything so what we're gonna say is uh, our thread is equal to null and I got this I kinda got this layout from a book called beginning Android games because I really like the infrastructure of this thread setup um, I, I mean it's kind of a general setup as well but um, for the most part this is pretty similar to uh, the example in beginning Android games which is a press book by Mario uh, Zechner I believe so uh, if you guys want to check that out um, I want to give him credit for this because it's kind of his layout for the most part but uh, I really like the structure of it so I just kind of want to explain more thoroughly what what this does and, um, and there we go we basically have our thread set up and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial piece